Hollywood usually strives for perfection, but there is one A-lister that has never really conformed to this norm. Jennifer Lawrence has always kept it candid and never taken herself too seriously. When she shot to stardom through the X-Men and Hunger Games, she didn't let the fame get to her head. The only way she got involved with the Hollywood scene was by falling in love with a co-star. For nearly five years, Nicholas Holt and Jennifer Lawrence made up one of Hollywood's hottest young couples. They tried to keep their lives private, but often opted for giving fans glimpses into their romance. I've also had, I've had amazing male co-stars. I've had a few, a couple, you know, issues of just weird dynamics, but I still think that they're really nice people. Like, but, um, but every, I've, I've had a lovely experience. Jennifer and Nicholas met before the filming for X-Men even started during a screen test in 2010. This was the beginning of their sweet and quirky romance. If you're a fan of the films, you'll probably remember that their characters, Beast and Mystique, had some great scenes together. There was even a little bit of romance between them, in which their real-life spark definitely played a role. The couple tried their best to keep their romantic relationship away from the media. Nevertheless, rumors were spreading like wildfire that they were a pair. They finally made their red carpet debut in 2011, but still pretended like there was no romance between them. In an interview, Holt was asked about his relationship with Lawrence. He awkwardly and unsuccessfully avoided the question. You know, the women of this franchise, Sophie Turner, Jessica Chastain, Jennifer Lawrence, delivering powerhouse performances. Yeah. Um, so that brings you back to the, the women in this movie in terms of they're just wonderful to work with. I'm very proud of them. Jen's great and we had lots of fun doing the film. And she's a very talented actress and I'm just stepping around the question, basically, he said. Even though they both made an effort to keep it hush-hush, Jen couldn't resist gushing over Nicholas in interviews. She was especially forthcoming when it came to praising his good looks. He has absolutely no idea how good looking he is. I think a lot of women and men hate me because of that, she said. The Don't Look Up actress would often dote on her beau. She would say he was her best friend and could make her laugh harder than anybody ever could. They also shared hobbies? We guess that's one way of saying it. We can eat Cheetos and watch beach volleyball and we turn into two perverted Homer Simpsons. Like, oh, she's got a nice ass. I never thought we'd have such different opinions on asses. We guess you never know until you watch a beach volleyball game with your partner. It wasn't all good looks and, um, asses. They were obviously a normal couple too. They had their disagreements, but even those were comical in nature. One of the things Lawrence did when she was angry was yell at Holt in a southern accent. Nick always said whenever I yelled at him, it was always in a southern accent. I used to yell at Nick and kind of see his smile flickering. I was like, why are you smiling? And he's like, because you sound like your dad. When Jen did this, Nicholas couldn't be mad at her anymore because he thought it was cute. Jen and Nick were also notorious for embarrassing stories and pranking one another. The actress admitted that she once hijacked her boyfriend's phone to text all their X-Men co-stars. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and like I knew how to like kind of write like Nick, like instead of cause, like A-U-S-E, C-O-S, Coles. She wrote a really serious and emotional text that read, guys, this is super embarrassing. I know this sounds silly, this is really embarrassing, but have you guys ever like, God, this is so embarrassing, lactated from your nipples? How did she come up with this stuff? There was one tale that Nicholas once shared that was actually embarrassing. According to the actor, it was what he called one of the lowest points in his life. The former skin star recalled the time when he was losing his soul on a toilet. Jen was on the phone meeting Bradley Cooper as the pair were just about to star in Silver Linings Playbook. Just days before this incident, Bradley had been crowned People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Jennifer and Nicholas had gone on a holiday and one day they went spearfishing. The people they went with cooked the fish up for them. Jen didn't like the taste and asked her boyfriend to eat hers for her, so he ate his portion and hers. He then proceeded to have food poisoning for the next three days. We'll let Nick take it from here. I remember on the way to this holiday, we were going through the airport and Bradley had just been voted People Magazine's Sexiest Man and his face was on the cover. Already I was like, oh, they're about to do a movie together and he's the sexiest man alive. That bodes well. Then I had proceeded to be literally on the toilet, losing my soul. And whilst this was happening, they had their first prep chat. All I could see was his face on the front of this magazine and hear her laughter on this work talk. Wow, that's not a story many celebrities would share. But the quirkiness that Jennifer and Nicholas shared eventually came to a halt. An amicable end, but an end nonetheless. They called it quits in 2013, but when they came back together to film X-Men Days of Future Past, their love was reignited. Less than a year later, though, they went their separate ways for good.
there has been a lot of speculation about why the couple didn't work out. One possible reason is that their schedules were always conflicting, making it difficult for them to spend time together. The actor opened up about why the relationship was a no-go, and his reason is definitely shedding some light on his state of mind at the time. When Lawrence bagged the lead role in Winter's Bone, it sent her career soaring. This role led her to be cast as Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. It also really shook things up for her and Holt. You know, it's that thing of feeling of being an outsider and not feeling accepted, which everyone can relate to, and that, that is obviously a, a big part of the story. It was an odd dynamic. There was this meteoric rise, and it was scary how much someone's life can change, and scary how intrusive things became. I was just kind of a bystander in many ways with her fame, he said. Yeesh. Jennifer had her own theory about why it didn't work out, and it is a typical J-Law way of thinking. It was his dishwashing habits that presented a red flag for the actress. Nicholas would never wring the sponges out. I picked up the sponge once and it was soapy and wet and I was like, see? These are the kinds of things that make me think we are never going to work. I really do, I mean, I make a mess, but I'm really good at cleaning it up and I can like, I can attack a mess. Right after the breakup, there was the scandalous incident of the Hunger Games actress's phone getting hacked. This led to private photos intended for her partner getting leaked. It pretty much killed all their hopes for any reconciliation as privacy was a big thing for the actor. He hated feeling like he was constantly being watched and under scrutiny. There are people always around secretly trying to get photographs. It makes it very difficult to relax and it happened on such a grand scale, he recalled. After the romance came to a complete end, the actress did actually open up about the split to Diane Sawyer. The couple's union ended at the same time the last X-Men movie was filmed. With it all happening at once, it had a huge effect on her. These movies had been my life for so long and they had to come first in everything. I was also in a relationship with somebody for five years and that was my life. So my life was this person in these movies. And we broke up around the same time that I wrapped those movies. Being 24 was this whole year of, who am I without these movies? Who am I without this man? She said. We can understand that change is scary. Imagine your career and relationship changing at the same time. Talk about stress. Although the young actress didn't know that this wasn't actually the last X-Men movie. The exes came back together to shoot X-Men Dark Phoenix in 2019. All we can say is they did end things on good terms, which led to a good movie and a fun shoot for the pair. They had great synergy working together on set thanks to their drama-free breakup and staying friends. Nicholas also described her as family. Well, he called all of his cast members from the Skins an X-Men family, but all we heard was Jennifer. We're a big family. We've been doing those movies since we were 20 years old. As much as the Skins crowd grew up together, the X-Men crowd really grew up together. It's been a good eight, nine years making those movies, he said. Apart from being great friends, the pair have both moved on with their romantic lives. Holt began dating model Brianna Holly in 2017 and they welcomed a son together a year later. Lawrence married Cook Maroney in 2019. Since then, she has kept a low profile and the pair has welcomed a child this year. Even though they didn't end up together, we are so glad that Jennifer Lawrence and Nicholas Holt dated when they did. They gave us five years of love, quirkiness, and a lot of laughter. We may continue to bask in the glory days of the young Hollywood sweethearts, because how could we not? We couldn't be happier that they remain friends and have both found their true love and partnership. Let us know what you think the funniest thing about this couple was in the comments below. For more Hollywood love stories, subscribe to Rumor Juice and click the notification bell.